What's up, Virgo? Welcome back to There's That Tarot. Virgo, the song that was playing is called Me and You Together Song. If y'all see me grabbing my arm, it's cramping like hell. I don't know, muscle spasm. I don't know what it is. I gotta make a doctor's appointment again. So, I can remember when we met because she didn't have a top on. Ooh, okay. I improvised a little bit. She said my references were spot on. Can I take you for a drink? She said, oh God, I'll have to think. Because we're mates and it doesn't feel right. Why y'all always falling in love with your friends, Virgo? <laughs> always. I've always been friends with Virgos and then somehow things got weird because we liked each other more than we were supposed to. And then we act like it's not the case, right? But the thing is, he's like, I've been in love with her for ages. I can't seem to get it right. I fell in love with you in stages my whole life. I had a dream that we, wait, I had a dream where we had kids. You would cook and I would do nappies. We went to winter, we went to winter wonderland and it was shit, but we were happy. So y'all have fun together even when it's like boring. Y'all have like inside jokes. This is a cute little connection. I've been in love with her for ages. Fell in love with her in stages. Well, that's the kind of love that lasts. So let's see, Virgo. Just gonna see the first card that pops out. Some of you could be fathers. Oh, but why is the lovers in the reverse? Some of you may be dealing with a Gemini. So somebody wants to fix this connection. This song is weird. Somebody wants to fix this connection. Yeah. Star card, the Knight of Wands. There were some hurt feelings, but I want to feel better in this. Uh, maybe I'm ready to take this, to take this on. Some of you are dealing with the Cancer. There's also someone here who just wants to feel better. Maybe I'll feel better if, I, if I'm not in this situation, if I just move on. But the thing about it is, I still want it. I still love this person. And I wanna come back. Cause I think I've dreamed that we had kids. <laughs> together you would cook and i would do nappies we went to wonder went to wonderland honey <laughs> walking in a winter wonderland <laughs> but she's not doing anything about it whether it's a man or a woman take it how it resonates i didn't love you right the first time so i'm assuming you two what's this night of wands Either it was on and off. It feels on and off. And it feels like somebody didn't take the time to unload when it was off or something. Or maybe somebody's returning to take on the responsibility because not doing this doesn't feel good not doing this doesn't feel right not doing this keeps me up at night not being a part of this person's life my head isn't clear things aren't balanced I'm upset I'm not over this queen of wands is it a fire sign Something doesn't feel over, it doesn't feel right, it ended too fast. But she made a decision to hold back from this. Maybe she's looking at something new. 
Maybe she gave up on us. Okay, maybe she offered to be friends. Page of Cups. Oh, she, maybe she's taking other offers. Maybe you found that out. You or her or whoever. And now I want to talk to this person again. I so... <laughs> Uh, who is this? Okay, so maybe when you guys talked again, this feminine energy could have been like, <laughs> this feminine energy is like, I don't know if you're ready for what I'm ready for. I don't know if you're in the most stable place or maybe you, somebody's already in the relationship. Or it's like, this isn't what I want. In some way, she said, I'm going to stop. And maybe the reason for that is because somebody here. <laughs> either wasn't, was in, a, was in a relationship. Or they weren't taking accountability for something. Or they just they just weren't standing up. Or they were in denial of the connection, so they didn't add, they didn't, um, you know. Maybe this person wants to apologize. And I feel like this person has been obsessed waiting. Waiting on this. Waiting to be able to give to this again. It's like if we could just talk. Or... been watching ever since things ended been wanting to talk and I want to act on this disappointment that I feel but I don't know if I, I can do anything about it maybe I should just let it go like it's a lot of thoughts here but the biggest one is I want to hold on to this. I don't feel like things are over. I have regrets. And I think there could be success between the two of us. It's something about someone's words. The energy that a person's words carry. Think about the energy that a person's words carry. If I say, you piece of shit, da 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 what kind of energy is that carrying? And if I say, you know what, I, I love you and I really believe in you and da 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 So what was it about the energy of someone's words in this reading that was like a defining moment for you? That maybe made you want to hold back. Like, I don't know if I can trust this. What was that about? Who's this cancer? It's cancer. <laughs> I'm laughing because somebody's got some shifty eyes. Maybe they've already looked away from this connection. Maybe they, they have, this could be someone who also has a lot of responsibilities. Okay, so it's not a lot of time or energy that they can give to a relationship right now. This could be thing, uh, someone that ended things either with you or you ended things with them because emperors, somebody, it's like they left the relationship undone. Somebody may have turned down um, a relationship here. Oh, because, okay, so maybe <laughs> if this is a feminine energy, this cancer, she probably rejected this masculine because he just wasn't showing up. Emotionally, maybe even physically, maybe sexually. And I just feel like she got turned off somehow from wanting to deal with this person.
Something about the way someone speaks makes it feel like they're in a secret relationship that they're not talking about. <laughs> Probably with an ex. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. It's like something tells the other person you have a weakness for communicating in risky situations that could damage our relationship. <laughs> you have a weakness for t getting attention from people. Val some sort of validation. Even if it's not from the best of people or the best situations or even if it's something that could sabotage something good that you got going. It's like somebody needs the attention above all. Like, <laughs> what the hell am I saying? Above all else, don't ignore me. <laughs> something like that. Who is this Capricorn? Mm, either this was the reason someone decided to give up or there was a Capricorn that you gave up on. This could be the reason why somebody's mad. This could be why someone feels like they got turned down. This may make someone start to retrace steps. Like, this is why I was feeling this way. So it could be a Capricorn in the mix. Oh, it caused some kind of break in this relationship. Somebody, okay. Or it could have had that could have come in during a break during your relationship. Somebody's not single though. Someone here is, I don't know who it is. Somebody's not single. This feels like a friendship. And maybe that's the, that's, that's the big, that's the big thing. It's like maybe somebody's already missed out on an opportunity and they don't know it. Because someone here is not single. Gemini energy is here. Pisces, fixed sign. Pisces again, Cancer, Aries. It's like something was telling me not to get into this. That this could be like something that leads to heartbreak. Or something was telling me there was a reason why you weren't <laughs> A, B, C, D, E, F, G, right? But the thing we know for sure, the thing that I see more than anything, the thing that melts away everything that we've ever gone through, the thing that that makes it all make sense and not make sense at all is the fact that I love you. There's genuine love between you and someone here that makes you just lay all the burden down, all the guilt down. It's healing, whatever this is. It makes you happy. There's a Sagittarius in your life. Don't fall for it. Get over that. Whatever that was, girl. <laughs> Boy. We got single in the reverse again. Maybe somebody started working on this before they were actually single. Or maybe they're letting you know that, well, I'm single now, so... My show, it's just hurting. It's just a constant cramp. Oh, 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 it's just getting on my damn. It's literally sitting on my nerve. All right. <laughs> this is Pisces. Oh. This could be somebody you're healing from, but also we're still stuck on this. Not really wanting to let go of this one. This is the Empress. This is the Ten of Cups. This is the one I want. But here we have, well, if I knew better, I would do better. And you may be shocked either to find out that this person was not waiting around. This person may have been dealing with someone else. What's the tower? Yikes. Either they turn down a relationship or you find out something that happened. I don't know. It feels like, what does she do? What does she do? What's the tower? Um, this person is checked out. 
already. So it's like, this is the Ten of Cups. This is the Empress. This is the one that I would have loved to go the distance with. But it's like she's miles away now. You know? Somebody's like miles away. But in the song, even the, even the guy said, you know, I've been in love with her for ages and I can't seem to get it right. I fell in love with her in stages. So what the hell happened during those stages? You know, because for some reason she has hit the punch clock. Like, I'm going home. <laughs> I'm not coming back. No two week notice. It's kind of like she's checked out. It's definitely emotionally. So for some reason she's protecting her heart. He or she. But someone... <coughs> Someone still comes back with their heart not invested. You know? It's like... Someone still comes back, like, in this way where it's like, I'm coming back for... I don't know. It's like their passion pulls them back to this person. There's an energy of fighting for this, but... Then it moves slow. So it's like a rush in to fight for it. And then it slows down. Because somebody's still unhappy here. Let's make peace. Whatever I did, okay. And what happens when this offer is made? Some of you could be dealing with an Aries. This Empress, it's, it's this Empress. Could be an Aries, Pisces, Cancer. And I feel like what she's saying is, every time you come over here, you come over here half-ass. Or you don't give me what it is that I'm actually looking for. Or it's like, she's calling this person out. I heard this thing about Virgos. I don't know if I said it or what, who, somebody said it. I don't know. It's like, I don't know if it was about Virgo. No. It was a Virgo who commented on one of my videos or it, on the Leo Reader. I don't know. Cancer Read? I don't know. But it was something like, I give, I'm very good at giving love, but receiving it is a problem. <laughs> for, for receiving it, I don't have nowhere to put it. There's no safe place. That's what it was. It was cancer. It was cancer's reading. Y'all are dealing. Some of y'all are dealing with cancer. Okay. Is that the empress, or are you the empress? Is it the other way around? Some people are gonna be like, it's the other way around. That's okay. Take how I resonate. But somebody want to work on this. But the empress. <sighs> The Empress struggles with this because there's something that she knows. There's something that the Empress knows. I heard if I give to this, pull that first. If I communicate, we're gonna you're gonna rush in, right? Ten of Cups. It's gonna be beautiful. On Don, Two of Pentacles. What's the question? Okay, because it's like okay, <laughs> so there's this unfinished business. I've been contemplating that because I really do feel like there's a true connection here that's like it's innocent. But there's also a little bit of past things. And who is that? 
Something's got someone else's, someone's got some of the body's attention. They're not talking about it. And that may be the reason why the Queen of Cups, this Pisces Cancer energy, is holding back. Because there's something you're not telling me. The Chariot. Cancer and Virgo. Whatever is making the light switch go on and off with you two. One minute we here, one minute we there. The song is playing is on and on. On and on. And something feels repetitive, redundant. Somebody's like, I would rather just be single. I don't know about this, Virgo. I don't even know if y'all following me in this story right now. Somebody could be born in May or the month of May could be significant. Let's see something, Virgo. Cause there's somebody on your mind. Who is this Libra? I don't know if you can trust this Libra. <laughs> okay. There's a truth that's being hidden. I don't see you two being together. Do not give to the dog what is holy. <laughs> Take it how it resonates. Anyway, there's something that I feel like you're healing from, but you're also fighting for. But you also feel insecure about it, but you also love them, but somehow you feel like you need to move on. I don't know. It's a lot of feelings. Who, how do you feel about this person? Here's the Queen of Cups. How does the Queen of Cups feel about you? Oof, the Knight of Wands in the reverse. Were you the bip bopper? <laughs> Virgo. Were you the one with the cold feet? Like, ooh, I don't know. That's what cold feet sounds like to me. It's like, ooh, I don't know. And would you take that seriously? Because I wouldn't. <laughs> I would not ask that person to pick me up from the airport. Mm -mm. I would not have a child with that person if I could help it. Depends on how drunk I was. I was just like, <laughs> the Queen of Cups is how you feel about this person, the Knight of Cups. You want them. I don't feel like you're over this person. <sighs> but there's something here that's throwing things off. It's like, you, okay, you're not over this person. Or maybe you, I don't know. Why is that here? You're not healed from this person. There's an emperor here. Who's the emperor, though? Is the emperor still, is, what's the connection between them? I feel like this is different parts of this person. So, okay, it could be a masculine who's in a relationship who's not single. Oda, the emperor is the queen of cups representative at the moment. This is how she's showing up right now because I feel like I need to protect my heart from you. And I need to find my happy again. It's so it's like this person is putting up a stone wall with you. But I am seeing someone want to come out of a point of stagnancy because you make me happy. But perhaps you feel like this person is 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 trying is not talking. Okay, maybe they. I don't know. Do you feel like this person don't want to talk to you because? Listen. Okay. okay Ace of Swords. So it's like eh, Queen of Wands. So they stop talking. As strong as this connection is, because it's like there's something that they saw about this King of Pentacles in the reverse. Ooh, is he, is he still in the relationship? Somebody lied about being done with something. They was holding on to something that didn't even make sense. 
So the way that they feel is they're like, la la la. I'm not dealing with that. I'm gonna reflect your words right back to you. And I'm not gonna think about it and I'm gonna let it end and I'm gonna harness my energy. <laughs> like this person is spiritual. It could be a Pisces. This person understands physics, law of attraction. Or this is just somebody who loves themselves and it's like, I'm not dealing with that. Something don't feel right. But maybe this person was just supposed to be a friend. So did they know that the other person was in a relationship? <laughs> they must have. Did y'all work together? <laughs> Somebody became too comfortable like asking for either energy, time, money, something like that. And someone was really silent about it. Somebody didn't, it's, it's, you know how you just... You know how you just sit back and watch a person like, oh, he getting comfortable. Mm. And then you just snatch the rug from up under his ass. <laughs> because he thought. And, and that happens. I'll say I do that. And it's not like a vicious thing. It's just like, oh, whoop, you're too comfortable. Whoop. And I just fold up my little yoga mat and put it away until I feel like peeling it out again. Because you're not my man. And I feel like that might have been this situation. It's like, you're not my man, though. You're not. There's a reason why you ain't took shit to the next level. And I'm not waiting for you. And I feel like that's why this person cannot get over this other person. That was kind of my history with Virgos. Because <laughs> I know, I'll say Virgo men, you know. And a lot of has some, um... You know, Virgo women is best friends, too. Y'all be having secrets. <laughs> Secret lives with an S. And that's cool and everything, but you might have met your match. And it's something about the way this person kisses you goodnight. It's sweet. But it's making you look at all your other options like... I don't know. It's like, this is my friend. I've, I've been in love with her for ages. I can't seem to get it right, though. Why you can't give it? It's because you're giving what's holy to the dogs. <laughs> it's because you're giving what's holy to the dogs and you're overlooking the person that you'll, that you'll want to sit on the front porch with when you're 80. Because your dick ain't going to last forever. Not as really. It ain't gonna be sexy forever. You know what I mean? Now, it's some fine old Virgos now, because y'all be fine. But the thing about my arm hurts so bad. This is my last reading for today. Um, but the thing about it, you know, this is who you're gonna be. You don't don't mess up this relationship with this person. If it's a friendship and and you can't keep it in your pants or somebody can't keep it in their pants or you don't feel like you can really devote yourself to it, don't lose the friendship. Because friendships, I'm telling you. And y'all know, Virgo is some of the best friends on the planet. Boyfriends? Okay, we're going to, I need to meet, you know, my father's a Virgo. I've dated Virgos. And I will say the friendship part is the reason we still friends. <laughs> And it's not, I'm not saying all Virgos are like that, honey. It's not that. It's just the ones that know what I'm talking about know what I'm talking about, okay? Because Virgos have a lot of friends. And sometimes that can be intimidating for your partners. Not your problem. As long as you are not crossing boundaries of whatever y'all established in your connection. Because somebody clearly was and wasn't communicating to the other person. So they shut the shit down because I feel like you're not keeping it real with me. And that's what I can't do. Because this person might have friends too. You know what I mean? And maybe they did. You know what I mean? 
<laughs> I'm not saying that Virgo is the villain here. I'm not saying that the other person is the villain here. It's three sides to the story. <laughs> What's the advice for Virgo? Because this has been 30 minutes. Energy is not created nor destroyed. It is transferred. It never dies. And I feel like that's how the energy is between you two. Even when it slows down, it's still there. Um, things. Communication might have slowed down. Things slowed down. Somebody came into the picture and caused some confusion. Mm. This water sign that you're dealing with apparently found that out <laughs> some kind of way and made a decision and walked away. So that was that representative, that Aries, that emperor energy that came in was like, I'll do it. Something like that. Because you don't want to do it. <laughs> or either they stopped acting or they just started avoiding it and became very mysterious, didn't they? And that's why the lovers was in the reverse. Because it's like somebody's like, mm-mm. It doesn't seem like you're here for it. And if, if, if they're thinking that this was a romantic thing, then somehow someone was given that indication. And see, that's the problem, Virgo. You know, I, one thing I cannot stand, and I'll be holding dudes to this, you know what I mean? And they hate it. <laughs> and I think it's hilarious. Because, uh, so if you say, oh, you know what I'm saying? I'm not ready for a relationship. And then I start dapping you up <laughs> in my stilettos. Okay? Because don't think, honey, journey cleans up. Nice. <laughs> okay? But the thing, like... If I start treating you like a friend and know you cannot touch, you cannot touch, honey. That's not what friends do, okay? Remember? And you hold them to that. I feel like that's what somebody did. And they just switched it up. I don't know. And I feel like it's making whoever want to come correct. <laughs> Maybe talk about what they hadn't been talking about. Open up where they hadn't been opening up. Be vulnerable. What do you want? <laughs> Somebody's deciding to open up. I don't know. Hmm. Being in denial didn't help. And that's what caused the on and off, on and off, on and off. I tried to distract myself only to find out I still want to work on this. And the Five of Pentacles means I felt so alone. I felt so bored or without hope or faith when we weren't talking. That's what also made me realize I wanted to be with this person. They don't trust me because of my philandering, okay? But now that they're so focused on themselves, I want to be over there. But I don't know if they're going to give me a chance. So that's where I'm stuck in thought. Is it over with the Queen of Cups? Queen of Cups in the world card. What the freak was this reading? Did I lose her? She's so quiet. I don't I can love you and not be with you. I feel like your souls will always be together in some way. And something about it. Was this person temptation? Because you was really already in something? Or they were? <laughs> mm -hmm. 
This person was someone's temptation. It made someone see things differently, I feel. And it may have been a big catalyst for change for someone. Just by seeing things differently. Virgo, I don't know. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> These readings are so interesting and I'm I'm gonna add more structure to them next time. I just kind of wanted to see what comes out this time. So y'all tell me how this resonates with you guys, okay? I pulled you an oracle card. It says confidence. It comes with practice. Maybe somebody's just afraid of opening up. It seems like everywhere around you, people are chattering about how confident they are and how freeing it feels. You wish you could relate to them, but you haven't gotten there yet. Listen, that's okay. That's all right, honey. Confidence is not an instant or overnight evolution. And nine times out of ten, that ain't confidence you're looking at anyway, honey. Everybody has, everybody's afraid of something. Even the Queen of Cups in this reading. As confident as she was showing up in this reading, as willing as it seemed that she was to let go of this, she had like this big boss, big dick energy emperor representative that would come in and fight her battles for her. <laughs> because I feel like she was very soft. You know, so she needed that reinforcement. That may have taken a long time for her to develop that. I don't know. Take it how it resonates. <laughs> I don't even know why I said that. Um, but it's not an overnight evolution. Just like with everything else, it takes time, practice, and a lot of unlearning of toxicity. I'm going to leave it there, Virgo. Like, share, and subscribe if this resonates with you. And I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.